Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Game Discovery, the series where we take a look at new and upcoming games. This time around, uh, we're going to be playing Life in Bunker. You've been elected as the new Bunker Warden, and now you must take control over a group of fellow Bunker residents and try to make them last until the surface becomes habitable. Apparently because of some like nuclear fallout or something like that. In any case, uh, Game Discovery, I haven't done uh, one of these episodes in a while, probably over a year. And I'm really excited to get uh, to get started with this game. Uh, the developers sent me a key uh, a few weeks back. I've been playing it for, for quite some time. I think it's a lot of fun. And I think you like it too. So let's just go ahead and create a new bunker. And I'll explain uh, how everything works as I, as I go. So I'm going to call my bunker Fallout Shelter. We're going to leave everything to normal. And we're going to disable tutorials because I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. Not really. But... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to explain everything as, as I go, so let's just uh, get started. So, welcome to the bunker. We start with a few rooms and a few residents just walking about in what appears to be some orange jumpsuits. And uh, these, uh, the, the layout of these uh, bunkers are actually uh, self-generating. Every time you create a new map, you get a new layout, so that's pretty cool. And we start with some uh, basic machinery. We have a water pump, we have a reactor, an incubator. We also have some air purifiers of different sizes, a fridge, a waste container, and some storage. Storage that contains ores and building materials, which we're going to need in order to uh, basically create more of these machines and start expanding our bunker to all the different places. If you look uh, over on this corner, you're going to see some ore deposits, which we're going to mine in order to... Uh, put in this storage containers and then turn it into uh, building materials for building uh, further. And uh, this hole right here is a, is a rift where if we have uh, enough uh, building materials and resources and, and research enough technology, we can create a lift that will allow us to uh, navigate through the different levels. Yes, this is just level one, but we can go two, three, and four levels deep. And they get a little bit more complex. As you can see, this, this is mostly made out of rock. If we go back to the first level, it's mostly made out of dirt. It means that uh, we're going to need to have uh, better technology. and We need to research better tools in order to uh, basically uh, demolish these uh, rocks. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start clearing up uh, some of these uh, back wall in order to expand our uh, bunker because we're going to need to put down some beds for our residents to uh, to rest. And we're gonna need to be careful because there's some creatures lurking in the shadows that will try to dig under and uh, basically try to kill our residents. So we really don't want that, really don't. So I'm gonna clear this whole area right here, if possible. I think this is a big enough room and uh, as soon as we do that, we're going to be facing this alert. I'm going to pause the game. It's important to pause the game because time actually passes here and your residents will age. And once they're old, they will still consume food and resources, but they won't really work for it. So you have to keep an eye on that and not just like run the game uh, willy-nilly. Uh, so yeah, we need some workers. So we're going to hit tab and we're going to go to the bunker stats. And under the residence uh, table here, we're going to assign some workers. So you're going to be a worker, you're going to be a worker, you're going to be a worker. You are going to be a janitor because we're going to need someone to clean up uh, the mess that will take place uh, take place soon. Trust me on that. Uh, more workers and an engineer in case something breaks. So after that, let's just hit play. And as you can see now, the orange jumpsuit, I think, or the orange suit, let's just call it that. Let's not be mean. Uh, let's just turn it into um, a blue suit. So that 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 tells me that these uh, these residents have jobs assigned. So when you do some crazy demolition like this, you can trigger earthquakes, which will generate this from rubble, and the generator that we just uh, assign will clear that for us. Perfect. So we're gonna pause the game. And we're going to start planning uh, some of the walls. First of all, we're going to put down a door here. I think it's important to have some separation as much as we can. And this is mostly just to show you the different uh, building uh, elements or machines that you can actually put in the game. So we're going to leave it like that. 
And we are going to grab the wall tool. And I think we can just uh, end this here. And basically cover it like this. I don't think it needs to be... Uh, this wall needs to be on the edge of the map. I think this is the edge of the map in case you didn't know it, but uh, I don't think it's uh, it's that important that this is covered. I don't think the the creatures from the night will, will come through there. They will come through the floor if we don't put some flooring down. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Since we have uh, red flooring here, let's just do blue just to, to have uh, a bit of a different color. And we're going to keep this uh, dirt and rock walls for now. Eventually, once we have enough technology, we're going to drill through them and uh, expand our, basically, our dorm here and, and add all the things. So, yeah. Uh, after we commit that, we're going to hit play. And now we're our workers are going to take building materials from the different containers. They already have it in place. They don't need to go all the way there, but they're going to use them to create the different rooms. Uh, some of the uh, machines, like this door, will actually require power. So you can see this one is green. Uh, which means that the power is eff effectively connected to the machine. So you can see if we go underground, we have power cables and we have water pipes. We don't have a whole lot of water pipes, only on this corner, which makes sense. Uh, but we do have plenty of power cables that are connecting the different uh, the different machines. And machines touching each other will also conduct power, so that's great news uh, for this little bit. So let's put down a few beds. I think we can only fit three beds in here. So I think that's what we're going to do. One, two, and three. Perfect. And let's just hit play again. And our workers will take care of that right away. Now, the next thing that we're going to be focusing on is maybe clearing up this whole area. I think, uh, I think we have enough. Uh, it's all pretty much dirt. And we can, uh, you know demolish this whole part and make room for for all the other things that we do need to build so let me just go ahead and try to create uh or or assign the demolishing of all these things not this wall i'm going to keep that wall and uh hopefully let's just go right about there and see how things progress and eventually we're going to clear up this this part right right there and as you can see that that happen very quickly but that those were two mole men that just dug uh, up uh, from under the, the ground and try to kill our workers. So thankfully we had five, five workers here, I think, that uh, took care of that right away and uh, nobody really got hurt. I mean, they do got hurt, but not, not badly. And uh, that brings me to something that I forgot. Let me just change subjects real, uh, here real quick. We're gonna need to get some, um, some people, some younger people, uh, basically growing here. So I'm going to cre create some of these uh, embryos in our incubator. And after uh, a little bit of time, we're going to have younger humans that will replace the old aging humans. So that's, uh, I know it sounds kind of uh, unha like a not happy thing to say, but we're, we're going to need, uh, we're going to need newer humans <laughs> New York. I'm using all the wrong words here, but it's it's you, you're, you're totally getting what I'm saying. I'm, I'm hoping um, uh, the comments on this video are going to be terrible. Uh, anyways, uh, moving on with the demolishing of all of this. Do we have people who are not doing anything right now? We have some uh, potential janitors, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. We can't assign any more workers. All the potential workers are already workers, but we do have some earthquakes. So hopefully we can assign another janitor that will that will help us uh, with that faster than it would otherwise uh, be cleaned with only one. There we go. So now that we have this whole area cleaned and, and ready to build, let's just put down some walls right over here. Let's just put down some walls over here as well. There we go. So now we have that covered. Question is, do we want to separate this into different rooms or do we want to keep it as it is? I think I want to keep it as one big room for now. We're going to need to have a bathroom. So bathrooms are two, three. Hmm. It seems like this... It makes sense if this was just uh, the bathroom here. So let's make this this thing the bathroom. And we're going to leave... Actually, we're going to just put down a door here. So we're going to commit those walls. 
Let's put down some flooring. We're gonna need uh, metal flooring for the bathroom. Yeah, not all machines can be placed on every type of flooring. So if I'm not mistaken, let me double check that before I do anything that I regret. Not that I can't undo it, but it's better if you do it right the first time. We're gonna need a research station right away after the bathroom, but bathroom itself doesn't have any requirements. That's good. Kitchen, same thing, perfect. So let me give you an example. The vegetable patch we we're gonna need to do uh, very soon can only be built on a metal floor. So that's what I was talking about. In this case, that's not a requirement for the bathroom. So let's just go ahead and do maybe like a metal flooring. Cause I think bathrooms look nice in metal. Said no one ever, <laughs> but we're doing it metal anyways. I think it's gonna look cool. We're gonna do red tiling in the middle just to have a bit of a design uh, aspect to it. We're gonna commit that and then we're gonna put down a single door. I'm probably not using resources uh, very efficiently here, but uh, it's okay. I'm just showing off, uh, I'm showing uh, the, the game here and not so much uh, how long will I end, uh, will end up surviving this uh, bunker. Hopefully I will survive long enough for this video to uh, make it to the YouTubes. Um, all right, let's put down some, my God. Today it's been, I, I must say this, I, I recorded this video. This is the fifth time I'm recording this video. That's why I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm just making terrible jokes and I'm keeping them because it's just been a bug after a bug after a bug. Not the game, just my recording software has not been behaving properly and it's just being, uh, uh, really, really difficult. I went ahead and uh, queued up uh, the demolition of this entire area so that we can access the ores back here and start mining and collecting resources that will allow us to keep building because otherwise, if we don't do that, well, things are gonna suffer. Uh, we're gonna run out of materials and that won't be good. Let's see where our embryos are doing. Oh, 71%, 72% and going, that's good. Uh, we're gonna keep an eye on this. We're gonna try to uh, refresh the embryo production as much as we can. And after these guys are done cleaning here, in fact, let me just pause them for a minute because I think I want to make this whole area bigger. Yeah, let's just go, let's take a big risk and make this bigger. The bigger we make it, the the risk here is that mole men will, you know, attack us as we, before we end up building the flooring for this whole area. So we can queue that up, click okay. And then in the meantime, just queued up some walls they have cleared enough space here for walling, so we can just do this. Click OK, and let's do the flooring as well. I think uh, the different mining machines, well, mining machines needs this in order to, to work. Let me put down some more walls before. Uh, I don't want to get too carried away by saying, explaining what I'm doing and not actually doing anything. Um, put down some flooring. They, they do need, uh, the refinery, for example, needs concrete floors in order to be placed. The refinery is the machine that will turn the ores that we mine into building materials. So we're gonna need to have that combo, the mining machine and the refinery. And I think we have uh, enough space for our refinery over here. Let's just make this whole area concrete like so. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. We can maybe turn this into our kitchen slash uh, farming area. Yeah, that might work. Okay, cool. So we have blue flooring here. Let's make the kitchen red. And uh, right here, we're gonna have a door separating our mining operation from the kitchen. I think that makes sense, right? Because you wanna, the mining operation is probably a little bit dirty and you want things to be clean-ish. So let's go full speed ahead. And I want to start queuing up more walls as these guys are finishing uh, demolishing things, putting down the flooring. They're actually going pretty fast. I like that's one of the things I like about this game is that the actual like the full speed uh, really gets you going fast. However, you have to be really really careful and uh, pay a lot of attention to things and uh, expecting earthquakes. All the different sound effects make me really really nervous every time uh, like a lot is happening. So I, I like pausing the game from time to time and just like letting it all be normal for a second and then go full speed again. Connect that. 
Perfect. All right. So I'm going to pause the game one more time. And uh, let's see. We're going to need to... We can get rid of this flooring. Not you. Just the flooring. Can we not? Okay. Never mind. Uh, we're just going to build a wall on top of this floor. Click commit. That way we have a separation between these two things. And uh, let's put down the rest of the red flooring. Like so. And uh, this won't have enough room for the vegetable patch, so we might need to extend that way. But we're going to do that in a second. Next thing that we're going to do is, uh, yeah, queue up the mining machine. Put it there. And let's put down the refinery up on this corner. And like I was saying before, you can see all the red light flashing. This is because I didn't plan my power cables uh, very, very well. So you can see these cables are right underneath this uh, machine here. So we need to go around and basically waste a lot more materials in order to get this, uh, this thing connected. But once that is done, if we can exit underground mode, we're, we're going to see some, uh, some mining operation take place. And that's working. All right, so next order of business. We need to extend our, our uh, kitchen and farming areas in order to uh, to feed our residents because they're just gonna they're gonna start starving uh, right away but before I do that now that we have our machine here we have zero research points and we need to assign a scientist which I don't know what's going on here but we should have have oh probably because this is not connected is this connected we should have have research points by now yeah you see this is I mean this cable is connected this however is not so the research machine was never working and that's one of the things that you should uh, that you should also play uh, pay attention and let's see warden our residents are starving yes i know and that's one of the things that we're going to need to take care of right away so uh let me just clear up some of these uh walls probably this is enough uh we might as well just clear this whole area out click ok and that will give us enough room for actually two vegetable patches, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so that is all cleared. Let's put down some walling. Uh, we're gonna need metal, I think, for the uh, for the vegetable patches, and they're three by three. So, hmm, this wall is kind of in the wrong spot here. We're, we don't need two at the very beginning anyway. So we're, let's do one. We're gonna center it. It's gonna look better. And uh, let's put down some walls around. That way everything is sort of nice and tidy. Let's go full speed. And while that is taking place, we're going to create the, or queue up the vegetable patch. Let's just do it like that. And we're also gonna need the, um, under residential zone, we're gonna need a kitchen that oh we don't have enough building materials that is that is kind of not great so as the building materials uh are being uh replenished we can uh, assign some more embryos because our little kids over here are already born and i didn't notice that and so far we have 66 research points so and uh yeah building materials are, are going up so that's good this also needs power and water. So many, many things that we need to do. Let's start by uh, trading our research points with uh, for, for things that we're going to need. So a tempered a drill bit level one, level two, and that's all that we can afford for now. So that's good. Let's uh, put down some power cables here and some uh, water pipes. So we're going to connect this like that and water pipes this is going to be a little bit more tricky but i think yeah this is not going to work if we go like this it will work hopefully do we have enough building materials barely all right so our farm is almost done perfect fantastic let's see what's going on here residents are starving i know Power cable is broken. Thank you for that. Uh, what else? No farmers. Maybe some of your residents can be assigned a job. Yes. We're going to need a farmer right away. And 
I think you're going to be an engineer and you're going to be a farmer. Perfect. Let's exit out of uh, underground mode. And hopefully we have already 150 something. What is going on? Another psyker has become uh, old enough to work. Yay. Okay. Our kids are old enough to work now. Residents need a shower pod. Oh, I completely forgot about that. I mean, I did this, but I didn't connect it. All right, so let's take care of that. As you can see, I'm all over the place here, but uh, probably because I, I'm playing everything on full speed. Don't do not do that. It's, it's not worth it. <laughs> uh, can they get a, a pipe over there? I think they can. Let's see if that works. And actually, let's just uh, do that same thing over there. Hopefully we can get the uh, the shower pods connected. Yes, maybe? Yes, all right. So they have power and they have water. Fantastic, all right. And we have our farm here. And next thing we're gonna do is put down the kitchen and slow things down a bit. So kitchen is under residential and we're gonna put it right up on this. Let's see, if we put it here, do we have enough room for the uh, the canteen table? Yeah, let's put down the canteen table here and then put down the kitchen uh, here. And we can also put down some lights just to make this whole area a little bit brighter. Let's put down a uh, light here, light here, light here, and light here. And we're gonna need to connect these with uh, power cables, of course. So let's just... Uh, run them through here and here and here and this one is already connected so that uh shouldn't be we shouldn't worry about that what about piping i think our kitchen also needs water just to make sure that that works i'm gonna sign that and go full speed you know i was trying to make the room where the beds were a little bit bigger so that i could put in more beds for all the residents that we currently have and an infirmary potentially so that they are not sick <laughs> but uh in a matter of seconds i kid you not everyone started dying and i couldn't do anything because i think they were already pretty much damaged from uh, before from the lack of food uh before we built the the kitchen and the on the farm so that means that we currently have some children like running around and, and a cook and a farmer, I think it's also over there, but those are the only people that we have left, which means that we can't really do much of anything. Uh, I mean, if we play our cards right, we might be able to sort of uh, make everything be uh, up and, and, and alive again, but uh, we also have a big patch of no flooring, which means Molman can come in at any time and basically kill the very few residents that we have. But that will hopefully give you an idea of what the game uh, looks like and feels like and, uh, and how, everything, uh, how everything works in here. So if you enjoyed it, this, this game is, uh, is coming out on Steam tomorrow, February 25th, 2016. If you're watching this video way ahead in the future, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you want to get your hands uh, on it, you can click on the description in, the, in this video. I included the link to, to the Steam uh, uh, page there and if you like this video as well please uh, don't forget to give it a rating that's very much appreciated and also if you just happen to land on this video and you don't know anything about my channel i highly encourage you to subscribe and uh, check out my other videos i tend to play games from a design perspective uh, i'm very detail oriented and uh, if that's uh, something that you might be interested in uh, maybe this this will be a good fit in your subscribers list so hooray uh that that's all for now I think. So uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I really hope to see you in the next one.